Now we're looking at the second part, which is Porti Ferro Strata Universal Defenses, so high and low. So like I was saying in the previous video, this is a little more involved because this is what they are more likely to throw at us if we are in a similar position, if it's in a similar guard. So first up, we will use, again, the false edge. That's our, our safest bet, just to make contact. And depending on what we feel, we will either stay to the left or go to the right. So first up, we have make contact, we get a nice beat. It's always a good bet to go to the right with a pretty bad so. We can also, if we're a bit more bound, turn that into a imbrocata and throw a stomach on the finish. And we can also essentially go into uh, Testa and do roughly the same thing. So either thrust with the imbrocata, emphasis on the thrust, or throw a stout on it. So this is especially the case with say like a pondo, where they're very clearly going across the line, so I just make contact and I let their blade go through as a cut to the head. We could also use the mezzo reverso, which works very, very well here. And depending on what height we have, I may need to proceed my follow one with a ridopio. Maybe I don't. So we're going to eat, and either I will cut up and do the imbrocata, or in the case of a pendente, um, for example, I could just raise this and strike. Finally, we can use entrare, which again, if we can do that, that's great. So we extend our out, covering with our shoulder, and striking them as they attack. If they went low, we have our good friend, the reverso ridopio. So pulling the leg, the right leg to the left as we cover, and then coming with a cut or thrust. And we can also void. So if we are not necessarily ready for the void, we can pull this back and either thrust to the face or chest or cut to the head. And of course, if we are ready, if we're anticipating using a trago, we feel nothing, we simply pull the leg back and they walk onto the point. Sword and dagger, we can use the dagger parry here, like we saw in the Madrid defenses. So we're stepping across with the right foot and either hitting with the reverse of the leg or thrusting the chest. And we can also use our good friend, the Mezzalabrito. Start with uh, the dagger defense. We're going to step around. You just step over here a little bit. We want to step around into the leg, or we want to step around and thrust to the chest. Again, not doing this. I'm making sure that I'm stepping such that my hands are parallel but not crossing. A little bit easier, perhaps, although it is takes a bit more, takes a bit more time, is beating and then thrusting the kind of that way. If instead we went to, to the you go into the leg, we have the same response. We defend with the rodeo and come right back in with the procata, or we're going to step back and strike the hand with a strong arm. Ending up in chingiale porta di vero. Finally, with cloak in hand, we have the same defense, stepping across with our left foot, that hinge step, and cutting and thrusting, entrare, or the choice defense. So just like four, we're going to stab across and have to cut the leg, which is very difficult for me to defend, or we thrust to that chest. Or again, a little more easily to cut and turn that into a to the side or chest. And of course we have entrare. And just go to the chest or face. To 
finish, we have the two attacks to the leg. We, of course, have the rebellion defense, follow on with a game of Okanta, and we can simply bring the right leg back, so we're anticipating using this, which you're nothing, thrust to their face, and maybe I can turn my hand up a little bit if I need to get over there. Their cloak if it's in the way. So that's the new fantasy. All that leaves is the thrusts to finish this guard.